You can't hear people knocking the door, though. Mrs. Walker? Yes? Who is you? Dean Spencer, manager of the Hot Palace, the latest night spot in Trinidad. What do you want me for? Actually, I came to see your son. Roy? What do you do now? Nothing. But I really would like to see him. There's something I'd like to discuss with him. What? I really would prefer to discuss it with him. All right. I'll go wait him. Wake up, boy. Wake up, boy. Mm -hmm. What you was doing last night make you can't wake up this morning? We ain't do nothing. I missed out the two. Who oh, he? What do you want? He say he have to talk with you personal. I'm Dean Spencer. I heard you sing yesterday at the church. I think you can have a future in that field, if you're prepared to work at it. You mean singing? Yes. I think you have a rather unique voice. With some training, some experience, and some exposure, you can make a name for yourself. I not know you're a singer. My sister asked me to sing in your wedding. I know, but you can go far if you're serious. What do I have to do? Just leave everything to me. I'll prepare a contract so you'll have regular work and meet the right people and get into the right places. How much you got paying me? 500 a week. What? Okay, 600 a week then. And I'll throw in a room and three meals a day, plus your outfits. What do you say? You have to talk about this with people who know about them things. It's a perfectly good offer, considering you're practically unknown with no experience. You learn and establish yourself. What are you going to be getting out of this? The satisfaction of discovering a new bit of talent, plus a percentage of your future earnings. Think about it. Discuss it with your lawyers if you want, and call me at the number on the card any evening between 6 and 8. Good day to you. What are you going to do, Roy? I'll get a job. Where? In Trinidad. Singing at a place named Hot Palace. I thought it was a real job. It's a real job. $600 a week is real money. For how long? I don't know. I have to agree on a contract. But this time, Louise, I know I'm going to make it. You don't look like you're glad. I don't like the idea you going and work in Trinidad more. I'm a big man now, Louise. I could take care of myself. We told him, girl in Trinidad. You go forget me, Roy. You think I could forget you, Louise? I see it happen all the time. You're going to meet some other girl, and you go forget about me. I will I carry with me. But I don't know where I'm going to be staying. I don't know nothing. But I will come back and carry you with me once I get organized. Things could be different without you. I will come back, Louise. And when I come back, we will be together for good. This is the chance I was waiting all my life for. And I'm not going to let it get away. Sure, you become my girl. You're really going to come back. 
and we're gonna be together for good work. That is a promise for us. Next, on Turn of the Tide. This is my house, man. I built this long before I know anything like you so exist. And you have no rights in this house to tell nobody how they could behave and how they can behave. Well, I live in, in this house. And as long as I live in here, I have some rights. And Charlie is my little brother. I have to protect him. The trouble with you, Tiny, is you want to run everybody like for them. You want to dictate what they can do and what they can't do. Please help me. Some harmony, some harmony, please 